Yo guys this is Atrix here today I will be showing you guys how to spoof your location in Pokemon Go using the i2lab AnyGo software. This has to be the easiest way to spoof your location and travel to different spots in Pokemon Go because i2lab AnyGo is a tool which is available for different platforms like Windows and Mac. You can free download this software from the official i2lab website which will be linked in description box below. Currently it only works on iPhone and iPads, the Android compatible version of this tool will also be releasing soon so stay tuned for that. Till then let's download and install AnyGo and I'll show you how to use its different features to spoof location in Pokemon Go. Once you download it, just install it by completing a simple setup as usual, the setup process will take very little time. Choose the folder where you want AnyGo to be installed and let's wait for few seconds. Once our setup is completed, now click on the finish option and it will launch AnyGo. Now you have to click on the register tab at the top right and select if you want a free trial or enter license email and verification code given to you while purchasing this software and click on register. The free trial is very useful if you want to test it out before purchasing it. We can begin by clicking on the start button. Once you enter, it will ask you to connect your iPhone to your PC, so just follow the steps by making sure your iPhone screen is on and connecting the wire properly into your PC. Once it's connected, it will, uh, there will be a prompt on your iPhone asking if you want to trust your PC. Just enter the code and you will be all set. Now we are connected and it will show a tick mark on the i2lab app. Now we just have to open Pokemon Go on our iPhone. At the right you can see my iPhone screen. Now use your mouse cursor on your PC and select any location where you want to travel. Then click on Go. It's that simple. As soon as I click, our character will be moved to a different location. Now at the top left of this app, you can use the search feature and enter the location you want to teleport manually. For example here I'll select New York City in the US and it will automatically load its map. Will be instantly teleported to that location. And you don't need to worry about using a VPN or your ID getting banned. Now there are many other features too, you will get the distance, coordinates and all the info of the location you want to teleport to. There is also an option to use GPX file and different option like 2 spot route but we will uh, not be using that, I like the default one better. Now those are not the only feature, you will also get joystick option but before I show you guys that, let me just move around a bit and catch a pokemon to show you guys that this is legit and works properly. I'll catch this PG right here and add it to the collection of my Pokemons. After this, we'll try teleporting to a different location too. Here I have selected Utah so I'll just go ahead and select the location and click on go and you can see that I have been teleported successfully. So there are a lot of ways to use this software you can teleport anywhere in the world which is really cool. Now I'll just go ahead and uh, enter India and we'll teleport to a random location in India and we'll see if it works or not. So I'll just go ahead and select this second option and we'll click on go. And here we go guys, I have been successfully teleported and it's that easy. Now here at the bottom you will see uh, the option to use joystick like there will be few arrows at the bottom of the i2lab AnyGo uh, software. So you can use those arrows to control your character inside Pokemon Go. For example if I just go ahead and click on the forward button my character will move forward. If I use the arrow left and right arrow it will position the character left or right and again forward will take you forward in the map and you can see that uh, same effect in Pokemon Go too. So it's properly working. Now let's try catching out this uh, Pikachu. But you can also use the arrows on your keyboard. It will be way easier instead of using your cursor. So here we go. A wild Pikachu has appeared with its hat on. This is quite a rarity. And the wild Pikachu just played. So yeah, uh, this tool is very useful if you are like trying to play Pokemon Go on a regular basis and if you don't actually want to go out uh, to play this game, then it will be quite useful. So check out i2lab AnyGo, link will be provided in description box below. And thanks to them again for sponsoring today's video. My honest opinions are that this software is really useful and can help lot of you guys who want to play Pokemon Go and spoof your location too. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.